I thought our guys played the game the right way. I just told them that, you know, we came out start to finish and we competed, we battled. You know, we out rebounded the best rebounding team in the league by seven. Uh, a few too many turnovers, but I thought we did some really good things on both ends of the floor. You know, I think probably the, the difference in the game more than anything, they made some plays down the stretch. Uh, we made some plays down the stretch, but we had a lead in the first half. We had, we had our whole starting five in foul trouble uh, for whatever reason, you know, but the rest made the call. So now we got to we got to maintain. I thought we fouled a little bit too much and that kept them in the game. You know, they stayed in the game in the first half on free throws, you know, so that, that, that's a lesson uh, for us to learn from. And I guess even with the loss, the silver lining is you can still win Saturday and get in the playoffs with the transpired tonight. So it's guessing it's still in your hands. Yeah, I mean for me I don't I don't like that word. I don't use that word. I mean guys got a plan for us and it is what it is. You know, I mean we 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 can go there and win the game. I feel like Eastern's a good team and Eastern's playing good basketball. They're gonna play hard, they're gonna compete. Um, senior night for those guys, but at the end of the day, you know, that that's a game that we're very capable of winning. You know, if we go in there and we play the game like we played this one, everything else will fall in line. Uh, Jalen, big night for you, at least individually, 26 points. You have a thousand. What does that mean to you, a thousand for your points? Uh, just my my entire basketball career, I don't think in high school I even got near 500. And just for me, it's just to show us how much I've grown from high school to now. And... I always, I always was a goal for mine, even high school, to get a thousand points because I see everyone get their ball and all that stuff. And and I just want to thank my teammates because they're the ones that put me in this situation, and I can't do it without them. And I guess sort of mixed emotions, you know, you had a big night scoring, but you lose a tough game, so that that's sort of that's sort of hard to uh, doubt. Yeah, I'm proud of my I'm proud of my teammates. So we played, I mean, we played really hard. Play got got after defense, just. Fouls here and there, and the, like coach said, the big they made big plays down the stretch, and <clears throat> we just got to be better. That's all I can say. I give Austin P credit. They they're a good team this year, and they know how to make big plays down the stretch. And we just got we got to bounce back. John, what did you see in particular that you liked from tonight? That maybe you could carry over to Saturday. Just our defensive intensity. I thought it was there. I mean, that's that's the in my mind. And I'm not trying to be disrespectful to anybody else. That's the best front line in the league, and I think the stats probably back that up. I thought we did a really good job. Both those guys had double doubles, 20 points, and, and however many rebounds in the first meeting. Now we're obviously an entirely different team. Played that game without two starters, but I thought we did a really good job on their on their front line. You know, and, and that's the key for us was that's a group effort. You know, obviously our big guys did a good job, but five guys played defense. Uh, Porter Button stepped up, made plays. Zach Glada made plays. You know, on average. I think they're making six or just under six threes a game. They make eight, yeah. you know. So, I think our game plan was there. You know, they just they made the shots and made some plays, and and um, that's how the ball bounced tonight. Um, you know, looking at a lot of your games, you had 13 games decided by five or fewer points, and a lot of games go either way at the end. That's sort of like the league is. That's what our league is, no doubt about it. No doubt about that's it. You know. It always comes down to that, you know, and again, it's, it's part of our process. Like I said before, I mean, we're, we put ourselves in a great position. Also, we'd like to have more wins, and we'd like to not be, you know, um, thinking about Saturday's game in, in terms of whether we're going to Evansville or not, but we put ourselves in position. It's the first time in three years that, that we've been in contention, been in the conversation with two, three, four games to play, with, at, at this point with one game to play. So, you know, we're growing. And it's part of our process. And I couldn't be more proud of these guys for continuing to push, continuing to fight. In all those close games, we've come up short in, in a lot of them. You know, I know we've won some, some tight ones as well, but it's not easy. You know, and especially when, again, you don't have that history. So we're, we're building. We're building a foundation. These guys are continuing to fight, are continuing to scratch and claw, continuing to come in and, and, and work on their game you know, and, and play with positive attitudes. Um, and again, I think that's why you're seeing the fight on the floor, you know, we, we can execute a little bit better. We have every plan and intention to do that on Saturday. And it's sort of essentially what you're saying, you're leaving everything out there on the floor. It seems like things to play, it's just a matter. Sometimes you come up a little short. Exactly. Yeah, I mean, and, and again, sometimes you got to go through it. Well, not sometimes, all the time. you got to go through the fire. That's how you learn. You know, you take your lumps, you keep pushing. You learn from them, you watch the film, you break it down, you're better the next day. You know, and that's one team. This team has, has got a ton of perseverance. They got a lot of fight. They got a lot of grit. They got a lot of belief in one another. And that's the most important thing is to continue to believe 
and the guy sitting next to you.